If you had a device that shows you everyone that has ever had a crush on you would you use it? Why or why not? I would. I don't really notice when people like me and kind of assume that if someone asks me out it's a joke. It's happened a lot. Yes because I need answers. Yeah. Cause not only would I have a. Oh dang. Moment cause someone I knew liked me and missed the opportunity. But it would also greatly raise my self esteem and confidence now that I know that someone or some people have liked me before. Yeah. Now I don't have to wonder lol. It gets rid of the guessing game. You'd better believe I would. There are two possibilities. Either I'm right and nobody has ever been attracted to me. Or I'm fucking blind. Yes. I'm curious. I can't really think of anyone who would have had a secret crush on me. So. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? Depends. Does it tell me which if any are still active? If so then hell yes. Yes. But mostly out of curiosity. Not because it would change things. Yes. For some validation. Wasn't popular in school. Have always had issues with low self-esteem. So it'd be nice to know if any of the girls I had a crush on were crushing back. I would out of morbid curiosity. When I'd get bullied in primary school and told the teacher about it. She told me that. Boys pick on you because they like you. At the time I believed her. I was just a little kid. When I was in a comprehensive school. I think it's high school to some other countries. I still got bullied but had developed a much thicker skin. My. I don't give a fuck. Attitude was born. I had more male friends than female friends so I'd be really curious to see if any of them had ever fancied me. I know that one did because we had a thing for a while once we'd both left school. Had a crush on someone who I thought liked me. Wish I knew if he ever had feels for me. Nah. In high school someone wrote they had a crush on me in the girl's bathroom. That's all I needed. No. I don't need to be confronted with even more missed opportunities than I'm already aware of. No. I think I'd develop a case of reciprocal liking. Where a person only likes someone upon learning that person is affection towards them. No. Happily married 10 plus years. Why mess up a good thing? No. I have a fear of disappointment. Yes. So I can know who to talk to. Yes. But only drunk at 2 AM so I can scroll through Facebook liking pictures from 9 years ago. Probably not since I understand that sometimes people have crushes on others and usually it means nothing. The title also says have ever. So. It does not necessarily mean that they still do. I think it would lead to more confusion and awkwardness. Especially if it is someone that is in a position that to have a crush on you would make it awkward or inappropriate. For an example. Your happily married boss or your best friend who may be attracted to you but would not actually be interested. Having a crush can stem from more than just them wanting to have sex or a relationship with you too. So I would not want to end up being, again, confused on what it is in that regard. Nah. As somebody who overthinks. I don't think this would be healthy for me. Yeah. Curious about at least one person. Why would I want to watch a blank screen? No because there wouldn't be anyone on it. No because it sucks knowing someone you once liked also once liked you too and neither of you did a thing about it. If it showed you who currently has a crush on you then yes of course but not if it's only who. Had. One. Devil is in the details. This device only shows people who had a crush on you. Meaning the moment has passed. Missed opportunity. I still would use it though. Nice little ego boost. I would not want to use it. One of those things that is far healthier not knowing. No, it wouldn't matter whether someone liked me or not. I actually prefer being single. Yes, I'm aromantic. It would so help me tailor my behavior to avoid encouraging them. Or just straight up tell them. Thanks but no. Of course I would. I would like to know what kind of person would ever even consider having the thought of liking me. Especially if they know me in real life. I'd just feel bad if they liked me to be honest. But nice information to know. Hell yeah I would. Yes, I expect to react to the results like a dark, humorous, and light-hearted Reddit thread. Mixed reactions. Sure would. I'd be really curious to see the limited few who actually saw something in me. I want to know all two people that would show up. They didn't tell you? They turned it on last year. I get notifications on my phone all the time. Oh. Awkward. Absolutely. I was completely clueless when I was single. 
a guy the first met at a music conference literally invited me up to his hotel room and it didn't occur to me that he was interested until months later. I didn't go up because 1. I was tired and 2. I wasn't about to go up to a hotel room of someone I just met no matter how nice they seem. Didn't wanna get murdered or something ya you know. Absolutely. Yes. I'm a non-native speaker of the language and sometimes don't pick up on. Obvious. Social cues because of cultural differences. Also very tired of people telling me well after the fact that, once upon a time, they were super into me and just never said anything. I would. For two reasons. One. It might help me figure out if anyone is currently interested in me. Two. It might help me realize past people who had crushes on me and thus help me better pick up on the signs in the future. No. Because it would be very awkward to live in a world where I knew everyone had a crush on me. It's better to just think that. I think it's my modesty that makes me so attractive. Tinder gold. No, nah, I still haven't paid for it yet. Boring old person answer. No, I'm married. I don't want to know or care who has ever had a crush on me. I feel like having that information would only make my life worse. Not better. No, because it's all part of the game of life. Feeling nervous and awkward around someone you like is good for growing emotionally as a person. The access to immediate answers and information has its benefits but also a lot of negatives. It removes people from the present moment. You mean a device that triggers my crippling depression? I already have a cell phone. Edit. Wow first gold. Thank you so much. Definitely. I would be very curious to know if there was anybody. Oh heavens. Yes. Curiosity killed the cat. But satisfaction brought it back. But I would especially like it because it would bring back many memories that I may have forgotten. My long-term memory seems to have holes. I have trouble remembering much from before I got married. I mean, I have clear but fragmented memories about two or three people I had relationships with, but there were many more, and there were also crushes that were not acted upon because I was in a relationship, even friends who may or may not or may just had a little bit of a crush. It would be so nice to be reminded of them. Yes because I'm a glutton for punishment. No. Because the people who have a crush on me aren't the ones I'm into. Not a really good R question. Single people. Yes I wanna know BC I'm lonely. Happily in a relationship. No. In a relationship but unhappy. Yes. Done. Because of my demeanor most people think I don't like them. Most of the girls I went to high school with. Now admit to a crush. It was devastating. Nothing like hearing that you could have had all of the sex in high school after the fact. Trust me. You don't want to know. I'm single at the moment. But if I use it and nobody I had a crush on reciprocated it, it could be devastating to my lower than average self-esteem. On the other hand if they did then it would be a huge confidence boost. I think I'd take my chances. Also because having the device would fill me with curiosity. Nah. I'm married happily. So at this point I'd rather not know. Mainly because if you have current friends on that list it can make stuff weird. Also. What if something creepy happened? Like having a family member on the list. All pass. Overthinking levels drop to a very low with this device. Hell yeah I want to know this. If the device constantly updates. Yeah. If not. No. It'd either make me sad or overconfident. But if I'm getting signals it'd be nice to be able to check. Yes. I am oblivious when people hit on me or like me. Here's two stories which showcase this. 1. Me and a new acquaintance are talking at a bar. After a few rounds he stops mid-sentence and says. Oh you must be straight. I say that I am. He responds. I've been hitting on you for the past 20 minutes and not once did you notice. 2. A friend of mine wanted to do a Christmas party. She said she was going to invite people etc. Things happened where. People cancelled. Ended up being just me and her which was fine by me because I had a crush on her at the time. Anyway. We go have dinner and she takes me to a concert I was dying to see. After. We stay out a bit longer. Talk in front of her place. She invited me in. I said I have to do stuff. And I left. I realized what happened 3 years later when talking to her BFF. I have a more stories like this. Yes because my self-esteem would rise from knowing someone actually found me attractive. I need a hug that's why. Yes, because there is one person who I swear has feelings for me. But due to our career choice. Neither one of us can say anything. And I want to know so bad. And I like her too. I'm gay. And currently do not know anyone else in my high school that fits that description in my age group. 
and while I've had girls tell me they have crushes on me. It doesn't really work, so I'd be interested to see if there is anything I can work with. Why would I need a device to tell me that nobody loves me? Yes. Absolutely. No cons really. Yes because if I found out that people actually had a crush on me I would get a large confidence boost. No because nobody loves me. Dude I'd 100% use it. It would make that part of life a lot easier. The real question is what would happen if everyone has that device. I do it's called messenger. My gaydar is faulty. It keeps telling me I'm straight. Girls come and chat to me and I go all shy. But I really want the hunk in the corner. I would. As I grew up, my self-esteem plummeted until it wasn't there. I assumed no one would like me in that way. I became comfortable with that idea. I even forced myself to stop having crushes on people. Cause I was. Undeserving. Of it. I always felt like no one could like me. Not in that way. I think it could do wonders to make me realize that it was all in my head. Or at least not true. Cause currently I can say that to myself. But my brain still goes. How could you know? TBH building such device is easier than understanding a girl's mixed signals.